The sum of two trinomials is 6x squared minus 5x plus 4. If one of the trinomials is 4x squared plus 3x minus 2, then what is the other trinomial? So this m means that we add something together. Uh, so I'm going to flip over here to my notebook paper. It is, so what it equals is the first part here, the 6x squared minus the 5x. It says if one of the trinomials is 4x squared plus 3x minus 2, what is the other trinomial? So what we're trying to figure out is, is if we add something to 4x squared plus 3x minus 2, then what, I should say, are we adding to that to get the 6x squared minus 5x plus 4? So it's set up as an equation. You could take the answers that are given in the Edmonton program and just add them together and see if it works out or not. But to keep it a little bit simple, I don't really want to do this problem four times. What we're going to do is we're going to start by subtracting 4x squared from both sides. And when we do 2 plus the question mark over here, and 6x squared minus 4x squared and lined up the like terms is 2x squared. And then we still have the minus 5x plus 4. Well, eventually what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the question. So let's move the 3x over to the other side. Again, notice how I line that up with the minus 5x because they're like terms. So over here on the left, we still have negative 2 plus question mark. And then here we have 2x squared minus 8x plus 4. Well, we want to figure out what question mark is. So let's add and we get question mark equals 2x squared minus 8x. By the way, if you're not sure what negative 5x and negative 3x is, type in negative 5 minus 3 into Desmos, and that will give you the negative 8. Here, 4 plus 2. Again, if you need to, calculator Desmos, but 4 plus 2 is 6. And there is the answer to our polynomial, which in this case is the 2.